Hello, I'm Andrew Lissian, and this is Brandon Mode of Germany, Germany to World. We're in European Universe 4, as per usual. We're in a war that we don't really care about. It's nothing to do with us. Do we have a way to get to war against Britain? Do we have a flag? Oh, our, our dudes are busy. Okay, keep being busy, dudes. We could spend uh, some Diplo on some Diplo tech. But I, I, I want Diplo points left. Like, I'm, I'm not going to bother teching up till the end of the game in Diplo, I think. I want Diplo points left. Germany's in all. Lose stability or lose army tradition. Um, cool. Well, I'm going to lose stability then. Oh no, I'm at two. Gain manpower. Yay. Finish your war. I want to eat Riga and Denmark and then everyone else in between. Norwegian patriots in Sweden. Huh, interesting. Oh, these are dudes that were injured, yep. Go over here, dudes that were injured. Why is there a 30 up there? Oh yeah, we're combining the 30 with the 20 and some 10. That makes sense. Okay, um... You will move up there. 60, 60, 60. That's going to be another 60. Do we another 60? I could have sworn we had another 60 somewhere. In all this mess, there will be a 60. There will be another lump. Oh well. Ah, there we go. It's there. It's right under my nose all along. Hmm. Everyone to here. Everyone to here. Everyone to here. I think that's everyone. Should be good enough. And... <laughs> we're still making money, just. Only just. Look at them all go. Look at them all go. Wow, that frame rate lag. That frame rate lag. We're down to 15 frames per second. <laughs> Let's zoom in. Twenty. Okay, that's because it's mostly CPU bound, not GPU bound anyway. Um, and we are one shot. Wow, you came late to the party, Osprusen. Get your ass over there. Ah. We've lost Calais. That's annoying. Um. Yeah, we'll accept demands. I don't mind too much. Like, really, don't really care. Let's core it again. And you, I'm going to feed to Brabant. So, Brabant, do you want to buy some stuff? Do you want to buy... Oh, do we have... Do we have a dip... Come on, stupid thing. Do we have a diplomat? Right. Uh, We need to stop improving relations, I think, just to be able to get someone out of there. We need diplomat. Come on, diplomat. Come back home. And... What do we want? What do we want? What do we want? We want to sell a province. We can't because we're at war. God damn it, war. Stop being shit. Oh, the Ottomans are starting to win. We'll have a war against Norway while we're waiting. We'll, we also need to kill these Norwegian patriots. They're really annoying. Ah, since we're about it, let's actually start moving our guys into position to actually take out all the provinces that we uh, that we care about. We'll just be able to just jump on them with ridiculous numbers, and it'll be fine. Jeep. Uh, can we have a leader? No, we're, we're full on leaders. Okay. Go. You can never have too much manpower. We could be defender of the faith. But then we get dragged into wars. And I don't want to get dragged into wars. I want to have all the wars of my doing. Come on, stamp on. Stamp on. There we go. Good stamp. Good stamp. And force march. Oh, we can't force march to there because that's actually Norway, technically. Oh. 
We actually went there and did it. Okay, let's go there and unseage that. Press the issue. Um, we gain a thing against the Holy Roman Empire. Settle the issue. Press the thing. We get a claim against the Holy Roman Empire. We want to go to war with them anyway at some point. Might we could go to war now. But I don't actually want to go war down there. I want a little war up here. Really, Great Britain? You want to insult me at a time like this? Really? 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 I was busy going to war with Norway, and now you've given me a reason to attack you. That just seems, like, stupid. I want this war to finish, but it doesn't look like it's going to be finishing any time soon. Like, I wish I could talk to Russia and be like, Russia, what you intend to get out of this war? Yazad. Where do you touch? Here. You've already got it. Oh, the Ottoman's not giving in yet. I could, like, literally run my troops down there. I could just run troops down there and squish them, but... Hmm. Death stack of ships. Death stack of ships to the world. 61? I thought we'd better than that. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. Yeah, let's start moving our troops to a position where we can invade uh, the UK then. Well, no, Great Britain. It's not UK. Which one of you is moving? You're the one that's moving. You're not. Okay, move you. You can come down here. We'll go attack the uh, the UK. We've got Casas Belli against Norway. I just we go for it. And split, and split, and split, and go there. Right, there we go. We need to get up here to the, uh, is it the Shetlands? Yeah. If you get to the Shetlands. Other than that, we should be fine. Right, so, who's coming down to the Shetlands with me? It's going to be a lovely trip. Peasants in Antwerp and peasants in Antwerp were killed because they're peasants. Stupid console peasants. That's what they are. There. Sarcasm, guys. Just sarcasm. Don't worry. Come on. Come on. Go. Land yourself in the Shetlands. Take those islands for us! At your beautiful silky 20 FPS now. Mali want military access. Sure, not that you'll actually use it, but sure. We have Holy War Caspell against them. We've lost that one against them. Fine, it's because someone changed in India and I really, really couldn't care less. Send a Diplo. We've got the cleansing of heresy against Japan. Have they changed? Yeah, Japan are now Catholic. That's interesting. More manpower. Yay. And we're on the Shetlands. And we started winning sieges. <laughs> it didn't take long, did it? It didn't take very long at all. Now, technically we are monthly attrition, I believe. It's yellow, so I think that's it. It's okay, we'll take the Shetland soon enough. I'm gonna sneeze. No, I'm not. I'm gonna sneeze? I don't know. It's one of these sneezes where it's in the back of your nose and you're like, am I gonna sneeze? <coughs> the answer, of course, being yes. And we've won the siege up there. So let's move that unit down. No, we need a higher war score to vassalize you. How much do we need to vassalize you? No. 85. 
and throwing the ducats where I got it. What? How did we get the siege? I guess it was one of my vassals did it for us. That would explain it. Uh, I might have to send a unit down here just to stamp on the Ottomans. Why is our reliance gone? Wants your provinces. They desire Dorpat only. But... Minus... They really desire Dorpat. They, like, really. They really want Dorpat. Like, a lot. Which one's Dorpat? Find. Dorpat. They w why do they want that so badly? Like, really, Russia? I don't have to fight you. You've had kind of a, a loss, a kind of a sucky war, and I'm in the war with you. You know what? I might take a separate piece. Really, you won't white piece? Oh, you're nearly at white piece. Technically, the Ottomans are making gains, so okay. We'll get there eventually. Right, we've won more sieges. Right, we've just got the capital to do now. What are you... Why are you over there? Whoop. Come on, guys. Morocco? Sure. Have military access. We just need to get 85, guys. 85 is the magic nut. Bloody Shetlands. Go for it, Holland. No, still waiting for that 85. Come on, Shetlands. Shetlands are holding out pretty damn well. I've got to say, for like a handful of guys and some sheep, that, that island's doing pretty well, considering there's 60,000. Can you even fit 60,000 men on the Shetlands? Seems excessive to me. There we go, Norway. I could uh, feed a province to Denmark as well, but... Everyone is going to coalition me. Everyone is going to coalition me. I don't care. I don't care. They're my vassal. I, I couldn't care less about the coalitions now. It's hilarious. Oh. Oh, dear God. Charge, gain 25 prestige, so we're back at 100 prestige. Should we jump on some of these dudes? Like, we've had a war against the Ottomans, and I'm not, I'm not that fussed about going south to the Ottomans. We've maxed out our, uh, our admin tech. Our admin level, sorry. So I might grab... Yeah, I'll grab that. I won't grab that, because I'm... Actually, I will. Screw it. Let's do it anyway. I've been putting it off for so long, uh, because Riga is going to be vassalizable soon, and Denmark, we need to keep them up. We need to give uh, a bit more uh, improved relations. We need them to stay at 200. White piece. There we go. Can you give me a ducat? No, you won't give me a ducat. Oh, 
Oh, wait, what was that? What was that? Why did we get a minus? Did we lose our... I think we might have lost... What's it called? Uh, Diplomatic Trust. Damn it. Oh, we won't be able to get Riga now. Let's send a gift to Denmark anyway. Enough to get them back on side. And then let's annex. When can we annex? When can we annex? When can we annex? Tell me when we can annex. There we go. Annex. Like, there's no point in waiting for Riga. Riga needs to go up by 90. Start the annexing. You come back. Let's sell a province. Sell province. No. But yes, they would go for that one. How much money would you give me? Give me all the money! You've got a lot of money, I must admit. That's quite a lot of money. Uh, yeah, give me, give me that much. <laughs> we got creative profit fleet because uh, we decreased, we decreased the uh, the amount of fleet we could have. That's kind of amusing. Um, I don't think we can get this, so let's call this one actually. And let's go all the way in harsh treatment. Right, so let's actually start with the uh, invasion of Britain. I'm going to put basically most of our army into the UK. I'm thinking like three stacks and we'll put one stack in Ireland and then we'll keep a, you know, one over here for defense purposes should anyone actually be stupid enough to go on us. Because, you know, these crazy things do happen. These crazy things do happen. So let's go back up there and pop back to Holland. And then you move to Holland. And you uh, move into the wings nearby. We should probably mi uh, mix our generals around. So let's go to no leader there and get a leader here because he can teleport. You know, it's, it's well known fact you can teleport straight from uh, what's this province? Antwerp. You can go straight from Antwerp to uh, to Wales. There's a particularly uh, convenient uh, warp space, the hyperspace highway tunnel thing. Go straight through here. Did you even drop your dudes? You didn't drop your dudes, did you? God damn it! Go, drop your dudes. Then come back. There we go. Getting pretty far on our uh, integration there. We need to improve relations with Sweden because we want to try and uh, keep them happy and then integrate them. Let's see, where is the uh, the integration thingy? Integrate, there we go. Uh, it's not possible for yet the end date of the game. That's annoying. Yeah, so we won't be able to actually integrate Sweden before the end of the game. But we own it. We know that. That's all that matters. Technically, we're losing money because we got rid of Holland. Hmm. Oh no, our conquistador died. Let's get ourselves a new one. Ah, oh, it's a fourth. That's not good enough. Just not good enough. Did you not drop the dude off? Okay, maybe we have to do this manually because they'll just come back again. Go drop your dude off. Like, take him there and leave him. There we go. Yep, there we go. Now come out. Go back to Holland. <sighs> Silly game. Then one to Wales. We'll put the one in Wales last, right? Because I don't want to end up uh, actually over filling Wales and uh, pissing off the Welsh. And we are going to be fighting coalitions, so we'll end up fighting Lithuania. So I will have to leave like uh, a couple of stacks, which is fine by me. We can easily be off Lithuania. Since we are at peace, we should probably sort out our trade fleets as well. Come on, trade fleets. What do you do? Um, Baltic Sea. Bengal. 
Zanzibar. Okay. Baltic Sea, Bengal, Zanzibar. Novgorod's not bad, 14 ducats. Western Europe, 24. I'm liking the 24. So yeah, Western Europe, let's go. It'll be coming straight back because of the British Navy, but you know, whatever. Scolding publicly, or claims to, yeah, of course I'm gonna lose the prestige. I'm not gonna ruin my air. Hell no, never gonna take that. Never gonna happen, game. You can try all you want, you're not fooling me. Go to Wales. Strong military leadership. We uh okay, we'll we'll take the we'll take stability here. I'm not losing arm tradition, mate. Not gonna happen. Revolts are possible. Calais, zero percent. Okay. Trade dispute against Portugal. <laughs> Great Britain have invaded Castile. Well, they're gonna have troop issues. If you're having troop issues, I feel bad for you, son. I've got 99 problems, but my army ain't one. What's I doing? Oh yeah, I needed to tell uh, Portugal to piss off. Portugal, come here. Wait, what is it? I need to piss off. Okay. Basically my impression of the world right now. Russia doesn't like me either. Gonna have to deal with that. Um, uh, issue embargo. Are you still at war? No, you just got peace. You really hate me, though. Separate peace minus... Wants your provinces. Dorpat and Gotland, right? They want my provinces so badly. 79. They really want one island and a low tax base province actually belonging to Riga. I don't understand this. I really don't understand this game sometimes. Like, I've been the best of allies to Russia. And yet, in the middle of a war against the Ottomans, Russia suddenly go... You know what I really want? I really want that province there. I want it so badly, I'm going to break our alliance in the middle of a war. When I was just considering helping out. I really... Sometimes this game is so derpy with AI. And I think we might actually need to move you to here. And you to here, because I'm expecting a coalition. Coalition war, let's look. Coalition, coalition, coalition. Target the coalition. Oh, really? Just you? Oh, and that's Russia. Wait. That's better. The Holy Roman Empire in a coalition against Germany. You don't say. Not Lithuania at all. It's the Holy Roman Empire. Well, that's interesting. I think we might need more, uh, more dudes, actually, if we're going against the Holy Roman Empire. Come back. Sorry, guys. You're not staying in Wales. You're probably really gutted about that. Actually, we probably need a guy of a general. You, come over. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to basically position all our dudes at uh, interesting points. We're going to take them. One big fell blow, they're going to die. And as soon as we're about to start war, I'm probably going to end this episode. So, crush Holy Roman Empire. Is at war. Incorporate Riga. That'd be nice. Create a star arbitration. Um, I don't want the five. I'll get it anyway from the war. Friesland, 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 Friesland. B. There we go. Boom. Done. Now, come on, let's get the guys back, and we can finally go to war. Having sixty in Ireland is a little bit overkill, but. There we go. And Lithuania's entered a military coalition against us. That's unfortunate timing. Lithuania can do all they want. I'll still be able to crush them with my pinky. Great Britain have a disputed succession. That's nice. <laughs> Hi, Ukraine. Aww. Right. 
we're going to call the episode here. Very shortly, we'll be at war with both England, at, well, Great Britain, and the Holy Roman Empire. It's going to be amazing. Holy Roman Empire, you've grown a lot. I'm, like, I'm literally, I'm pushing you out of where you really should be, which is here, into here. <laughs> and I have no problems with that. I'm in Elysium. It's the European Universe 4. Brandenburg to Germany. Germany to world. Germany's doing pretty well. Stay shiny, everybody.